Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're here for basket making ideas this is one of my frozen Easter basket box well actually these are just my baskets I mean my back my boxes my chair and my um bag ideas I want I want to say Easter basket but they're not traditional Easter baskets these were done in a chair a box and some bags as you can see okay in this video I will be showing everything I put in the video what I'm gonna use how much I put into it and how much I'm gonna sell them for y'all um my wrapping wasn't as good with this one you can see a little fuzzy but my wrapping on this shell is amazing I'm in love with it also the bags I did them upside down so that's why they look as good as they look these I didn't do I'm not good too much with the doing it at the top you know pulling the paper but it's not too bad it's not too bad but in this video this is what you'll be seeing today i hope you all give this video a thumbs up might as well just give it a thumbs up right now because it is a great video show some good stuff and ideas for these frozen bags or baskets that we're doing um i'm in love with this show y'all this is by far one of the best baskets i love i mean one of the baskets i love the most Look at little Olaf up there. But, um, yeah, go ahead and like this video. And also, y'all, I don't know if y'all seen that Timu video, but I'm going to leave that the link in the description for you to click it. If you haven't already clicked my link, go ahead and do, do it for me. It showed um, the video had the Mother's Day stuff that we're going to be using from Timu. Yeah, go ahead and click that link. Um, doing very well as far as income goes on that thing. So, thank y'all, everybody who has downloaded it. I sure appreciate y'all but um oh yeah and let me tell y'all this video look at that doll have y'all been to Walgreens and got y'all dolls for one dollar and thirty nine cents y'all y'all better get up there and get them because this doll in this basket was a dollar and thirty nine cent and look at her dress dress looks so pretty and also her I need to go back and check those stoves that was loaded y'all but they told me that um, they were still $6.99 but yeah make sure y'all have done that Hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Um, I started this video off a little slow, y'all. I had just waking up. And, and mind you, I haven't been getting as much sleep as I do. Um, I've been losing a little sleep, but I catch it in in the daytime so it don't matter. I've been getting a little sleep in the daytime and staying up all night, mostly doing the baskets. But that's just how my body is working right now. I got my days and nights messed up like a baby, y'all. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I have not been going to sleep lately. Like right now, it is 4.35 in the morning. And it seems like it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon for me, honey. I don't know what's up with me. I don't just went out and went to the gas station. I ain't been getting much sleep, but I'm not bothered by it at all y'all you would think it's about two o'clock in the afternoon over here the way i am um energized over here but yeah i'm so used to it y'all i have so many different things that i normally do in my daily life with my when i was doing t-shirts which i just did a t-shirt order a cake order a party like it's been keeping me up and in the meantime trying to get these baskets done but after this trust and believe like i just told my sister i said easter is sunday i got something to do for her for monday and i'm gonna get to this video in a second y'all but i just want to let y'all know I am going to get me some rest on Monday, okay? I am not. I'm sleeping in all day Monday. Next Thursday is when I'm going to be going out and get my hookahs and everything for my Mother's Day stuff. I might feel like getting right on up and getting it done before then, but definitely by next Thursday, um, let me know in the DM because next Thursday I'm going out and get my hookahs and stuff like that. And that'll be when I sleep. I'll sleep on Monday, but until then, y'all, I have been up. Not really getting much sleep, but I've been getting a little nap in in the daytime like I'm a, a baby in daycare taking a nap, honey. But hey, it is what it is. I got to do what I got to do to fit my baskets into my time that I really don't even have, y'all. And speaking of that, I um, was talking to a subscriber, Natalie Joseph, out in um, New Jersey, y'all. She is a stand-up woman from uh, Montclair on YouTube. She's on YouTube, too. She got some videos she put out. And we had a long conversation. She helped walk me, uh, wake me up a little bit, y'all. Keep me company. Talk to her for a while. Very good conversation. And talk to her for a while. So in this video, I started off kind of slow. I was just not waking up. And Mostly, then I talked I to Natalie. She kept me company. And I got my butt out, got the rest of the stuff to finish this stuff in this video. 
So there it go. Thank you, Natalie, for getting me up, girl. I sure appreciate you. Well, I was up. I just was down. I was dragging y'all because, like I said, it was early in the morning. I wasn't ready to wake up. I was dragging, but Natalie um helped me out with that. I'll see y'all in the next video because this video gonna play out with what I have in it, how much I spent on it, and stuff like that. But like I said, I was dragging. I just had woke up when I'm, I'm kind of slow when it started out. But I'm gonna show you everything I got in this video, y'all. Bye. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing what I have for Frozen, my Frozen ideas. I'm doing two bags, three, basket, three boxes, and a chair. The boxes are wrapped. But for now, I just want to show you everything that I'm going to put in this basket before I get it started. Okay? So, I ended up, I got these from walgreens if you saw my last video i posted it showed the um frozen dolls that i got for 139 from walgreens one dollar and 39 cents y'all two different kinds <clears throat> two different kinds of elsa for a dollar and 39 cent and she killing it in this blue um let's see i also had a lot of dolls from walmart let me show you was this no this was my eyelids this was 6.99 so compare this for $6.99 to what I paid a dollar and thirty-nine cent for. $6.99 in Ollie's. There was two different ones, if you can see. This one completely different from the other one. The other one had Elsa and um the sister. That one just had that one. Um, let me see. Did I get another one? Also, I got this from Ollie's. It was $7.99. And like I said, compare it to what I'm paying a dollar and thirty nine cent for. Mm -hmm. They have this in um Wild Greens as well. They're just still six ninety nine. Haven't went down to um one thirty nine yet. I want to wait till they go down to one thirty nine. But I actually paid seven ninety nine for this one. She would be one that I put up in a chair, the more expensive one. Okay. Okay, that's all the dolls I have. I ended up with two, four, six different um, doll items. So that means I can actually make two, four. Oh, that's six. I have six in all. So we'll do three boxes, a chair, and two bags. Boom. These I got from Party City. They're the big party packs that's equivalent to the smaller ones they're the same little sets they're just bigger this is the bigger one that i got out of walmart i mean the smaller one this come in an eight pack for 4.97 that's like 50 cent a piece basically but it's the same it got two little crayons except this one got four you know it's a lot bigger so i'm going to be using this for like probably the bags since i have two of them and i'm only doing one chair but I got eight of these. I have some jump ropes. What I'm going to do to y'all while I'm talking is as I'm pulling it out, go ahead and sit it wherever I feel it's going to go. Okay? So that way, I already have my stuff put together. One second. I can always go back and move it to where I want it to be. Um, next thing I got are some nails. These came from Dollar Tree. Cute little nails. Dollar twenty-five cent pack. This one also came from Dollar Tree. This is like for a bigger nail kid, and this is for a baby nail. I already have a box. Um, I think I already have a bag. A bag I already sold. But it being, I want my sixty-five dollars for my bag. It being a family member, I told her just give me fifty. So I'm gonna make sure I bag it just for her but it looks like i only got four nails so that means somebody gonna be short let's see maybe not one of the boxes we'll do one in the chair and the bag so somebody gonna be short um next thing i got y'all i'm sorry i might be sounding kind of down in this video i i haven't woke up all the way i've been staying up making these baskets y'all trying to get this stuff this stuff out of the way um i got some crayons 
These came from Dollar Tree. But they also had these. Which I can still take and put a whole a pack in each one of the baskets on top of this. That's more than enough crayons for that baby. So it seems like one box not going to have as much as the other boxes. That's what it seemed like, y'all. I have some jump ropes. Looks like I only have two. I may have another one in the bag because I put these on the ones that's more expensive. Which are the chairs and the bags. I also have a kite. I need to, uh, I'm probably, oh, that got some more drunk ropes, y'all. I got enough. I ain't do that because, you know, we've been running back and forth. Don't make no sense, honey. So it seems like I got enough for five items. One of my boxes is missing a lot of stuff, y'all. Next thing I got, make sure y'all check y'all out. that had, like, the chargers and stuff like that. I got this from there, Al, which is a nightlight. That's good to put in these baskets. Um, I have more. Oh, I got three more. They two different designs. Okay, so I had six. I didn't honestly know that I was going to end up doing six. I just ended up with six of everything. Um, except these. Now, these are only go in the bags and the chair. These are some frozen bubbles I got from Dollar General. I only have three. So in that case, I'm going to put it with the more expensive stuff. The more expensive basket. Same thing with this. I only have three. Oh, and I got to open these little things up because I've been opening them up, y'all. And they have not been paint sets in them. But they had two different kinds, different Dollar Trees. So it's almost working out. The ones that I'm charging more for it are definitely going to have more in them than the ones that's in the box. Okay, let me show y'all these. Let's see if they got it in here. I guess these are just made like that. But it should be a paintbrush in here. Yeah, this is how it looks on the back. But when I got these all the Dollar Tree, every last one is missing this. Whether it was the dinosaur set, whatever it was, was missing the brush. And the rest of the set. This is not an art kit. Half of the stuff is missing, y'all. I don't like that. Alright. Next thing I got. It looks like I only found one of these. This is a little tote sticker set. I have some frozen stickers. Frozen coloring books. At one point, it looked like I was only going to do two of everything. but Because that's what it's looking like. I got two. Of everything and it's making it where I have to put the majority of my two in that bag in those two bags to make a match but I really want to do the same as that with the chair I feel the chair should be more loaded because the chairs are 75 and the bags are only 65 um, these are some marker sets you can use for it this is what I love the most I love these oh I got more crayons in here um, I love these art sets it's looking like I'm going to have to go back and get a third item for that chair. Because it looked like everything, some of it is in threes. But it looked like it's mostly in twos. And I really want the bulk of my stuff to go into the $65 bags. But I can say a lot of this stuff I can do in the chair and the bag. Because like I said, one of the bags I've already sold to a family member for $50. So I can work it out like this. Just put some, some of the duplicates inside of one chair and one bag um the ones i don't have three this is a glitter coloring sheet if you can see it has glitter on it some markers that's cute big enough and i got three y'all and then we have the play paper craft set why i only have one of these that got the markers in it i don't know but that's what makes it well okay now i need to go to the store and get this now i need to go get it to just balance it out and make it even um why i have this in here i don't know because my theme is blue not purple i can put this in a troll 
I have one of these bath bombs. And then I have some different frozen Play-Doh. Do I have the Olaf one? So that's it for that box, y'all. I'm about to. I got a kite. How I only ended up with one that will go in the chair. That'll go in the chair. Um, I got some cups. These I got from Party City for a dollar. Got a puzzle. Dollar Tree. Everything that you're seeing, this is basically a complete Dollar Tree basket. Only other thing that I'm adding are snacks and candy. A different puzzle. And y'all... I got some ribbon, some frozen ribbon. This is going to be too cute. I got this from um, Walmart. Has Elsa all the way around it. It was $3.97. I'm going to take the big, perp, the big blue ribbon um, that I got from Dollar Tree and then make this my inside layer. Going to be too cute on these items, y'all. Other than that, y'all see how we have to run back and forth, back and forth. Mostly, every character that I bought for, I was buying for twos and then... Um, I don't know. Some of the stuff I got a couple things that's three. Only a couple things that's three. But um, yeah, I have to go back and get some more stuff again, y'all, because I'm doing six items. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this video started, then run to the store. Well, first I'm gonna do my I'm gonna set up everything with y'all, show y'all how everything looks, and then for the ones that need a couple items, I'm definitely gonna have to go back because as you can see, I only have three or some stuff, but at the end of the day. These $50 boxes don't need as much character items as the other things. So, I may be able to work it out. But, I at least want to get a few puzzles for the boxes. So, um, hopefully y'all are enjoying this video. I know I'm kind of low on energy, y'all. I just kind of woke up. I jumped out of bed and said, let me go and make some more baskets, honey. We on deadline time. Today is Tuesday. Easter is Sunday. So, I just want to bring these ideas to you. I have been making most of everything on the... Every character that I have made have been on the screen, on the camera with y'all. In the ones that I did that was extra. Like if I had many, I made it on camera with y'all. But if I had made four more many, I didn't. So yeah, I've been trying to bring y'all along with me. Showing y'all all the ideas I have. And um, yeah, I hope y'all like this video. And hope you've already subscribed. Let me get to the making of these baskets, y'all. Alright everybody, so I am back. I don't pelt my step up. I went out and um, picked up some stuff that I felt like I needed for my baskets. And I'm going to show you. One second. Now I'm going to. Am I zoomed in? Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, y'all. Trying to make sure y'all can see what I'm about to do. So what I'm about to do is show y'all the whole step. Nine, the nine whole nine yards. What I do I took this box, which makes it easier for me, put a piece of tissue paper on it, and I'm just sticking it in the inside of my box, okay? Now, you don't have to do it that way. It's cheaper. Well, it's free, so that's why I'm doing it that way to make, that way to make it easier for me, y'all. But, um, but I don't put it on the wrong side. Hold up. There we go. That's the front of my box. See? They been in here moving my stuff. And y'all, I went and found some more stuff. I was going to get like the duplicate stuff so it'll be easier for me to know what I'm putting in the basket by just putting um, the same thing in each and every one of them. But I couldn't find some stuff, y'all. So, hey, but I got to show y'all what I did find to add to this basket that I didn't have in the video at first. Um, but, hey, you can take and feel however you want to feel, but in my... What I'm doing, in my opinion, is easier is to use these boxes that we can get from free from USPS.com. It takes up less paper because I buy my packaging paper. If you haven't seen, um, I go to the, this is $12.99 for a 10 pound pack of packing paper I got from the U-Haul storage place. Big old roll, y'all. Look. Way, way more than that what I showed y'all in my last video. I tried that butcher paper out, but it didn't work for me, honey. So, I'm back to this. It was in my last a, a video before showing y'all this. But, yeah, I'm back to it. I didn't like it at first because it's so long. When I unfold this, this, like, take up half of my table, honey. 
But it's good because I only need like three sheets in a box or so. Maybe about five sheets in a box, but it don't take much. So for $12.99, you can't beat it, y'all. I can get a lot of baskets out of it. I'm going to go back that route. But for now, I'm still using my butcher paper, which you can take, use that, fill it up if you don't have any USPS boxes. You can use newspaper, whatever you can get your hands on to fill these boxes, y'all. I got my packaging paper in there. The next thing I'm going to do, um, because the packaging paper can get kind of hard, I'm going to just take and put some shreds. Since I got extra orange, I really didn't use. I'm going to just take, and if you know, when you pull these shreds apart, y'all, you get way more. I can pull out a little bit of piece, and when I get through scratching it and pulling it, I'll be like, dang, where all that paper come from, honey? You can definitely get a lot of that out of there. Hey, Leah, I'm doing a video, baby. Okay, okay. Yeah, she, she telling the story anyway, because she don't went to the bathroom and used about four times in a row. She don't have to pee. She just want to, um, if she want to feel like a big girl, y'all. Leah using the bathroom and want to feel like a big girl. Okay, so now that I did that, as you can see, that's all that it took to get my box filled. The next thing I'm going to do, because I'm using boxes. You know how we cut the tops off of the USPS boxes? The next thing I'm going to do, Leah, I'm doing a video. Go on that way, baby. Ain't nothing over here for you. Come on. Because you don't got on no clothes. No, no, no. Well, you got on clothes, but you don't need to be in the video. You ain't got on no shorts. Me and Leah going to fight in a minute, y'all. I'm going to try not to get it on camera because then y'all going to be trying to call somebody on me to get me up off of her because she keeps messing with me. Okay? So, listen. Okay. Them tops that we took off the USPS box, y'all. I'm using those as my backer in this case because I wrapped the box. So what we do is we just take two of them together. And let me show y'all the extra thing that I'm doing to make it sturdy. Now if you realize, once you take these together, even though they take together, y'all, they still kind of fold like that. So what I decided... I was like, you know what? I put that in the back of that box. It still was folding down. So I said, okay, I got some for you. I cut me another piece. Once I cut me another piece, I put it right in the center of both of them. And guess what? That's going to keep it from being flimsy, okay? All we're going to do now, tape it. And that little added piece. Hold on, y'all. Uh-oh, that one ran out of tape. I'm running through these rolls like crazy, but I'm only using the $1.25 rolls from Dollar Tree. I should just get me a big one. But that's it. I am no longer flimsy and I cannot bend. That's what I'm doing. If you're having problems with what was bending on you, just put your added piece on the front. You can even do an added piece on the back to secure it and make sure it doesn't move, okay? Next thing I'm doing, the extra piece of wrapping paper that I had that I didn't have to use for the sides, I'm using this to wrap my piece that I'm putting on the back. So from the back, you'll be able to see the board, okay? Um, And all it takes is me, I'm going to put a piece of tape on both sides, both ends. I'm going to tape it. Okay. Two seconds, y'all. This is all it's going to take me to do this. I got my little tape. I'm going to put down the tape in the, the first part. Let me go back so y'all can see. There you go. Got my tape right there. I'm going to put a piece on the other end. Now, mind you, the coloring book is going to be in the front part. So, as you can see, this part, they not going to be able to see it anyway because I'm going to have my coloring book taped on to this piece right here. What you do have to do, though, you take a little... I can actually fold it all the way. I don't have to do like I'm wrapping a gill. But in, in, if you have, if you had to do like you was wrapping the gill, you'll just take, fold it like a little triangle here, fold it like a little triangle here, and when you do that, just push it over. That's it. But in some cases, you know, it folds right over, 
and don't give you no no problem but we just want to make sure everything is kind of neat as we can get it y'all same thing on this side if i take and fold this way it, it works it works i just don't want to see that white that's what i don't want to see but because it's going to be in the back of the coloring book we're going to go ahead we don't have to fold it in a triangle but if we don't look what it does that extra paper as you can see over there we don't see it in the extra paper it's clean so that's why i say you can fold it in a triangle or because it's going to be covered up anyway you don't have to either way it go works um and that little two minute one minute However long it just took me to do that is all that it takes to get that done, y'all, to put it in the back of our box. Because when you in these boxes, you don't have nothing. Okay? So I'm going to take, stick it in my box, turn it this way. So from the back of it, they see the same design that the boxes has on the back of my backer. Okay? Um, I think I'm going to use this. My boxes don't actually need it. I'm going to use this for my bags because, you know, my bags was giving me some. No, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it for my box. Mama, that's not yours. I know it's not mine. I didn't say it's mine, Leah. That's mine. That's I'm, my sky. That's your sky. Look, y'all, she don't really got her dog. I had it in my stuff. Did you hear her say, that's not yours? It's not mine. I'm not going to touch your stuff, okay? No. I'm trying to show you, too. Okay, you too see Sky Lil. They see a Lil showing y'all Sky. Okay, but anyway. Um, so that's about it, y'all. That's the only part that I gotta show y'all. Okay, Lil wanna be a YouTuber so bad. Lil trying to show y'all all the products. Um, that's all I'm gonna show y'all on camera to speed this up. I'm gonna go ahead and and um Mama, put these together and then i'll come back and show you what i put in it how much i put in it and how much i'm selling them for i tried to be when my boxes was only 50 dollars my bags was only 65 and my chairs were 75 i tried to keep that as a set price okay they see it leah they see little pony coming up i tried to keep it as a set price but i feel like these boxes because i am putting these big dogs in them regardless that they in a box or not i want to get 60 dollars for my boxes instead of 50 and uh my bags can stay 65 and my chairs can stay 75 but definitely my box is not going to be 50 because i'm putting a doll in it now i can say just don't put the doll in it and make it cheaper you know i'm thinking these were 6.99 so these i'm going to put in here as well but let me go ahead and get rolling, y'all. I got three boxes, two bags, and a chair to do. I'm going to go ahead and set these up. And I'll get this. back with y'all in a moment to show y'all what I put in it, how much I'm charging for it, and all of that stuff. Leah want to be a YouTuber so bad. Leah trying to show y'all everything I got on my table. I'll see y'all. Oh, but why she do? Let me show y'all. Thank Look. you, Leah. You reminded me. Look. Did he have this? Let me show them this. I forgot. I went out and found um these yours. lip glosses that now you know how the end hangers where they have like on the end of the aisles they have different stuff yeah, hanging up on the end of the aisle this is where i found these at leah stop it this is my channel not yours okay this is um different little lip glosses i found from frozen was on the end of the aisles y'all that gone be a good addition addition to my um baskets. <laughs> Leah, you distracting me. Stop that's it, please. I understand. I understand. I ain't saying say it's mine. These are some nails. I already showed y'all the nails, but definitely look on those end hangers. They got some different lip glosses. They got Olaf. I went in Walmart, found this. I don't know. I already took the heat gun and took the sticker off. But this was two dollars, y'all at walmart two dollars hidden back there in the back of those bears i even found some valentine day bells that was 29 cent hidden in the back of those easter bells i guess they just decided not to move and clear that shelf out whoever in that store was probably just lazy left all those valentine day bears and put the easter bells right on top of it y'all and i have a bag full of 29 cent 28 cent easter bags bears i got from walmart so check in the back of y'all easter stuff see if y'all can find anything but this was two dollars y'all at my Walmart, had a two dollar sticker on it, honey, and I got it. And he gonna go in that shell that I'm gonna charge seventy five dollars for, maybe eighty when I put this in there. But yeah, let me get back to it. I don't went pelt my step up. I don't uh 
Got everything I need while I was shopping. Now let me finish this video for y'all. Leah, talk more than me. All right, everybody. So I am back with my completed boxes, baskets, and basket box. Okay, I'm sorry. I am back with my boxes, my chair, and my bags. Yes, y'all, I said it right. I am back with them, and they look so frozen. It's everywhere. I mean, it's ice cold in my house right now because this frozen is taking a toll on everything. I am in love with it. It's almost like the best I have made. Uh, I like the LOL. I like the trolls, but this frozen, oh my lord. Those dolls that we got, that I got from Ollie's, these were um, $6.99. Or was they? No, these two was actually $1.39 at... Yep, that was $1.39, y'all, at Walgreens. These are the two that I got out of Walgreens. So beautiful, but this one was $6.99. I got her out of Ollie's. But either way it go, those dollar and thirty nine cent um dolls brought this basket to life, y'all, and I think they are my favorite because I actually have a nice doll inside of them. I don't know how to act, y'all. Um, but yeah, this is my finished products of all of them. I ended up putting um twenty items in here, y'all. Twenty Dollar Tree items plus my um. I overloaded this basket. It did not have to go that far. But I have some bubbles. I have the nightlight, the jump rope, the play-doh, the um, what is that? Body wash or shampoo, whichever one it is. I have the nails. I have the lip smackers. This actually was an art set, y'all. But why they don't cheat at me, honey? When I got that thing and open it up, it don't have nothing in the inside. I got one over here. I think I showed it to y'all. They don't cheat at me. And it's like that in all of them, y'all. It's like that in the Jurassic Park. Look at me, got my calculator right there trying to make sure I get y'all a, a correct amount of what I spent. That's all it has in here, y'all. They cheated us. It's supposed to come with a brush and another book. So I hope that person don't be like, honey, they, that, that girl had Leah playing with my stuff. But uh, that's how it came. That's how it came, y'all. But anyway, um, I have the pink. This is a paint set. You bar barely can see it. I have some crayons, a coloring book. Um, I did put these crayons in here. They had the three packs of crayons at Dollar Tree. I thought it just helped bring out my basket, so I put it around the sides of different ones. This is that pack set that I got from um, Walmart, y'all. Um, I got some of those cookies I got from Dollar General. Some Play-Doh, a whole Play-Doh part, because when I'm doing the boxes, that definitely takes up a lot of my space for me. Um, what else? I got this, whatever that is. Oh, that's a marker play set, too. I got some more puzzles, a puzzle here, a tall puzzle, and a short puzzle. So, yeah, I actually kind of did my thing. Like I said, the coloring book and that paint set, the frozen um puzzles, another frozen puzzle, the Play-Doh. Then I have the paint set, the bubbles, all that stuff all the way around. As y'all can see, I double loaded and even the cup, y'all. All of that stuff was either a dollar or a dollar and 25 cents I put in this basket. With that doll for $1.39, y'all, I ended up spending... 25 $28 on this basket. I'm gonna say 28 because I didn't include um my bag, my wrapping paper, and stuff like that. Canned I threw in there and all that stuff. But yeah, $28. I'm gonna definitely sell this for $80, y'all. I'm gonna try to get 80 If not, I'll get 75 But with this doll, this doll right here, I feel like she is bringing my baskets and my chairs to life. Honey, let it go. I love this dress she got on, it's sparkling. And when this, when Frozen was out, I was just like a child, y'all. I know the words to these songs by heart. Am I the only one that knows the Frozen song words by heart? Probably just the only one. Like, well, if y'all got kids, I'm sure I'm not the only one. The ones with kids, I'm sure y'all know that song too. But I knew all the songs by heart. I was singing my life out with Frozen, honey. When Frozen was out, I was watching it like it was my uh favorite TV show. I don't watch it about four times. But anyway, I was in love with Frozen. These little nails y'all I got from Dollar Tree, like I said, they was at the end of the aisles. And they are really small. I got these other ones. Let me show y'all. Where they at? Hold on. Here they go. Alright, so I got these other ones. They're a little bigger. So if you, this for a child with some bigger fingers, as you can see. 
These are some baby nails. Look at all little bitty baby nails. I got Leah pack, honey. Leah saying, oh my gosh, I love it. I said, Leah, you're going to have every character. She's going to have a Frozen, a Spider-Man. I'm going to throw everybody in that basket, honey. Leah ain't going to know how to how to act with her basket because she asking for everybody. She seen Spider-Man. She wants Spider-Man. She loves Frozen. She loves so much of these things, honey. Leah basket going to go crazy. But anyway, as y'all can see, that's how the back look with that piece that I wrapped up. Um, with that wrapping paper to match that box to hold my stuff onto it. Um, yeah, that's it. Eighty dollars for this one, seventy-five if I have to. Seventy-five for this one. This one doesn't have as much. This one was only rounded off to about twenty-two dollars. When, like I said, that one was twenty-eight. So that's a six-dollar difference. In that case, I'm just gonna do this one for seventy-five. I was doing all my chairs for seventy-five and eighty. If they, um, if they get one, you know, multiple kids, I tell them say eighty. But when they get multiple kids, I give them um, $5 off. So it seemed like you're getting a discount, but I, I would take 75 already. Um, I have a kite on the side of here. I did put that Olaf in here. This one looked like it should be more, but that one over there, y'all, it is loaded. I have the two pauses in that one over here. I only have, I have two pauses over here as well. I have the night light, the, um, what is that? This like an activity sticker set I have over here. An activity sticker. Hold on. An activity sticker set. A paint set. Two puzzles. The doll. The crayons. The bubbles. The shampoo. The lip gloss. The Play-Doh. The Olaf, which was $2 at Walmart. The kite and the jump rope. So I don't have as much as I have over here. So I'm going to go for 75 I, I always say 80 but then it be 75 anyway. And then I go for 80 over there, and I'm trying to get 80. I might go for 75, but I do which way it go. This one won't sell for as much. I want to get at least um, 65 out of this box because I have this that was $6.99, some nails, shampoo. I have some um, cotton candy, some crayons, coloring book, jump rope, puzzle, and two different coloring books. So as you can see in this one, I don't have as much. Uh, oh, and I have the night light I have to put on the side and the nails. So in all, I ended up with two, four, six, seven, eight, nine with the lip gloss. I ended up with nine frozen items, and then I put this. But like I said, over there, one of them have 17 items, one of them have 20. Um, I really loaded these frozen items up. I don't know why I didn't do that with most of my stuff. I only did about five characters. But because she has so much stuff, y'all, I think I lost control. It don't take that much. It could have been less than that. But they are really going to get their money's worth for these Frozens. I swear they are. They are definitely going to get their money's worth. Not saying they're not getting their money's worth with anything else. But anything else, I didn't put as much. Even in this one, I didn't put as much. I have a big, um, it was a big coloring sheet set in the back. I have that. Um, the paint set, a jump rope, a puzzle, a night light, a cup, the nail and a lip gloss, and the doll. That was all I put in that one too. That one isn't loaded as much. These two should have went for a hundred dollars. But ain't nobody finna pay no hundred dollars for no dang on Easter stuff, honey. I did the same thing over here except I put bell bombs in the front instead of the shampoo because I didn't have any more. I'm still gonna pop some nails and some lip gloss over here. It has the crayons, the kind candy, the jump rope, the puzzle set, and then um this one coloring book. I wish I had another one for the other side. I gotta figure out. I can put some stickers on the other side. But that's about all that I have for this one. This one right here, I haven't finished. But it's gonna be a duplicate to this because I have these same exact things I have in here that I'm gonna put over there. But other than that, y'all, that is it for this video. $65 for these. Both of these. Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna do 60 for these. 65 because she a big doll, but they costed me the same y'all they both this cost is 6.99 this cost is 6.99 so they cost the same uh i normally charge 65 for this and then 50 for this one but because they have that doll set i have to go up so in that case i'll go up ten dollars which i'll only make a three dollar profit off of putting that in there i'll just keep that at 60 but I'm definitely going to keep that at 65 y'all. And they can't beat that. Ben, I mean, I'm glad I didn't have. No, I just made that cupcake. Yeah, I'm going to eat that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, y'all. She's trying to throw my food away. Um, This doll looks like she's more expensive than this right here. But they was at the same price. 
I'm gonna do this at 60, do this one at 65, one with that doll in it. Some of them frozen dolls in the store be costing $15, $20, y'all. Not gonna lie to you, $21.99. So they'll definitely get this for $65 and should be happy because it has that big doll in it. Um, other than that, they didn't get anything but a jump rope, a puzzle, some Play-Doh, a cup, some nails, some lip gloss, some night light, and that coloring set and paint set in the back with some crayons. That's actually a lot. So yeah, 65 not bad. I didn't load it up as much as these, so I want 80 for those. All right, y'all, I think I'm repeat myself. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I hope y'all are loving this idea. They look so good, y'all. I am in love with this frozen character basket and chair. I can't wait to see if anybody's going to buy it. I mean, this one is super loaded. This is the most loaded, okay? How did this one get so loaded? Hmm. Different puzzle sets. That's probably why. Because I could do these like that, but I think I'm missing different puzzle sets i guess that's what it is y'all oh and they don't have that big doll that's what it is but all right y'all i see y'all in the next video tomorrow is thursday i actually had came and did this video um the end of it today but i'm going out selling my baskets thursday friday saturday and i got three days to sell them y'all i'm doing pretty good selling them online so i didn't go out as much as i should um because i really was selling that online one girl came in here y'all and wipe my whole top shelf down. She got three chairs. She got two bags. She got two boxes. I said, wow, honey, I thought I was doing something with my loaded tables and floors. Honey, she came and down there wiped me out. So, yeah, I'm up making more baskets, trying to get myself together. And um, I still got a long way to go, y'all. Still got a long way to go. But I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Y'all, I had to jump back in here because I was asked, how do I wrap my chairs? So, I took my bag, instead of me putting my bag up under the bottom, I took my bag and just put it upside down. This is actually dome bags from Uline, so it may work differently depending on, um, you know, your shrink wrap bag. But I took my bag, put it upside down. Once I put it upside down, I took the um, bottom of the bag, lifted my chair up, and pulled the bag under the, end, the bottom of the leg. So, all I did was... Pull the bag down and lift the bottom of the chair up. Pull it up under the legs. Once it's up under the legs, you can take, as you can see, this one side, this other side. You can take a piece of tape. And um, once you take a piece of tape, take both of them. And then just tape them together. Tape the legs together like this. Now, as you shrink wrap, the tape is going to come apart. But I just do that to at least get, be able to get me a good grip at this bottom first. Once it's taped up like this, I'll be able to at least get the grip around the bottom without it scooting back and coming off of the um, table, y'all. I mean, off of the, the chair. So it's definitely all the way up under the leg, leg as far as I can get it. And that's it. I shrink wrap it from now. But these are dome bags. Came from Luke Uline. Um, but you can do them with your regular bags, too. You just turn your bag over, upside down, slide it down on the bag. Lift it up on the chairs. All right, y'all. I'm going this time. Success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be.